Must have been a big night nine months ago. Get the bounce underway. This is Sunday afternoon on nine. Johnson has a crack at it. West comes flying through. Inside the 50 with a high one. Good mark, Bandy. No, couldn't hang on in the end. Two didn't quite work for the Cats. Close to the barrier line, Divertina. Gian Syracuse over the top. Boyd caught. Got the kick away. Umpire says he'll get another. Well, more than he looked. Boyd from outside the boundary, just across the face. And it's only a behind. Out to Harley. The forward handballing okay, but the tackling equal to the task from the dogs. The turnover to Robbins. They're steps on. his way through the centre. Inside the 50, kicks and finds. And the marking Johnson. target, Ben Johnson. Uh, say Ben Johnson. He well, had the speed of Ben Johnson. Block. Brad Johnson. And that tackle from Crediook, supreme in the centre to cause the turnover. Yeah, look, I don't know if it was the best selection. Just on the left-hand side of the screen, he had two. He's up against Raleigh, Brad Johnson. Brad Johnson for the dogs first. Low and straight. He's got it. Just backward of the wing. Members grandstand side here. Now to Johnson. Eagle turn. Good movement, this, from the dogs. Inside 50. How will it bounce? Kindly for Brown. This is his bread and butter. And he's got himself an early feed. It's just, it's good that they are able to produce a few local products, Geelong. It's part of the great town. If you can keep producing them from the middle. Streaks can't break free. Corey trying to get a handball, couldn't slip it past. Boyd, who's tackled by Wachinski, and that is a big clash. And is that Eagleton? Yes, yep. solid bump. Came in off the wing here, Wachinski. That's got to hurt. And they will have to bring him off via the stretcher, you would think. Yeah, it's all tucked in. That is one of the things about our game of footy. And I don't care what people say. It takes bravery just to get out there, doesn't it? Only knew one way. So we wish Nathan Eagleton well. I hope that he's going to be back out there very quickly. Backwards to Robbins. Through traffic. Through the corridor. Coming back. Corey got fingers on ball. Dimitina has Johnson in support. Goes with a short pass. And Brown in the public eye all year. Nathan Brown still yet to sign with the dogs. He has one and it's touched on the line. He's still only got one. Goes to West, back to Boyd. The one two works. No, it doesn't. So there are four on two in favor of the oh, dogs. Oh, Shinsky's knocked him down. That is silly. That is one where you could actually be justified reversing it. The umpires keeping a cool head. Good umpiring. And the second go. Yeah, the second go was unnecessary. Yeah. From the Ford 50, where he spends much of his time, goes looking for Croft. Carried him. Scarlet at the back of all of that. Croft Jim is Syracuse hurt. almost ridden into the ground. I reckon he's. Yeah, could be a quad there. It's not moving well, Croft. He, you know, we, we know that he's a great warrior. He's a great servant of the club. But just a very, very professional player. But. The fact that they've had to play him at full forward over the last month or so, they just want a contest out of it. I don't reckon he can run anymore. The footy with Hargrave, almost the one-hander. No free kick paid. Darcy working very deep in defence. Gets the handball to West and Hargrave ends up with it. And he spots a, a teammate. Now Brown ends up with it. Brown inside the 50. Long ball, Johnson. Beautifully done. You can see he did it. And he's had it rarely since the uh, first bounce. Never once did he get a side on the ball, Raleigh. And Brad Johnson all the time was able to watch the fight. Mitho, it looks like Croft, he's had to come off, just took himself off. Yeah, I think he might be done too. He's got a thigh, he's uh, in the hands of the doctors now and looks pretty dejected figure down here. No trainers with him at the moment though, Crofty. There is the Croft injury. It's not his jumping leg either, so he's... And he didn't even get it, rise it through, so that... In the midfield for the Cats, Maloney. Long high kick from his boot, hoping for Graham. Getting back, Preddy takes a good solid mark at centre half back. Side onto the ball, so just got to watch your opponent a bit while you're still uh, learning the craft. Darcy's kick a little wobbly, but it found West. He goes to the hot spot at centre half forward. Scarlett gets into his opponent's back, almost takes the mark, but Bandy steals it. Turns around, goes for goal, and gets it. Dogs. On fire, early stages, skilled stadium. He can do so, some saving grace for the Cats. 
Going to get some forward action here too through West. Stole it beautifully. Got it to centre half forward. The run from Gilby. Look at Gilby's pace. Ducks around. Thinks about it. Loads it up. Kicks the goal. He's got class that hit. Uh, making a mess of the Cats in this first turn. Get to the shape he's in now. Ball up in the middle. Darcy knocks it's it down to West. Him. He was crunched. Was it as he kicked or after he kicked? Scotty West is murdering Geelong in the middle. This lead that the Doggies are setting up is, you could almost single-handedly put it down to Scotty West at the moment. Some read it better. Got it to Smith. Dogs just doing everything better at the moment. Kicked Off down hands. the line. Beautifully taken by Brad Johnson. Oh, he's chopped out there by Ben Gorey. So it's going to sound. Oh, he might have thought about it, Brian. Backward of the centre circle. <laughs> had he known the siren was about to sound, perhaps. Had it had a little bit of... He's on immediately. Chapman. Now Wachinski likes to run, runs into trouble He's and short. turns it over to Gilby and the dogs are away. Gilby has some space on the wing. Couple of bounces, make that three. Big Peter Street chases. Spearing pass five Brown. Well, that's the golden rule. If you're going to run and bounce, the onus is on you then to provide a good pass. No angle for Brown. Holds the ball in a strange fashion, as always. But if that's your routine, that's your routine. Junior now Spreaks down the line again. The kick just not working. Broken up by Credio. He goes back and finds a nest of turnover options. One of them, Bowden. Inside the 50, here goes. Brown the target again, and he takes the mark. No touched, no pay. That was, it was, you've looked at the, uh, the opponents behind. I think it was Anderson saying, touch, touch. Well, but the let's thing have a is, look at it. once they go forward again, the cat... The 50, so distance shouldn't be a problem. Great shot of it right behind him, and that's a much better kick, certainly as far as accuracy is concerned. The distance is good too, and he's got his second. Kingsley has got it! Robin's down. High attrition rate in this game. Took Ablett down and then... Squashed was his head between Ablett and the turf. So the Bulldogs down to just one on the bench with Robbins now in real strife and coming from the ground. To go. Right foots it to the hot spot, centre half forward. Almost the mark taken by Kelly. Picked up by Boyd inside the 50. Drop punt on the way. Just carries the marking player there in Brown through for a behind. Too far out to score. 70 from goal, called to play on Dimitina. Maybe too far out for his small leg as well. Dances around, finally gets the kick to full forward, and Johnson's got it! What a pair of hands. Saw him on the lead in the first quarter out when he hit the ball up uh, on the wing, and it looked like he had glue all over them, and this is a solid one take overhead as you'll hope to see. He is one of the great sights of football. You mentioned him early. James, the footy channel, with Matthew Lloyd, and he's having his own show this afternoon. Three goals to Johnson. Six goals, and playing the better football. Darcy with the clearance. Inside he goes with a drop punt. Johnson and Brown, the goal scorers. This is Brown around the body, Bowden. All on his own, should kick the dog's eight. Taken from the ground. And as you see Scarlett running back, Bowden has crept down into the forward line and you can't cover two at once. Bowden surely will goal. The Western Bulldogs starting to take a stranglehold on this one. Johnson's kick three. Got Darcy in the middle. Goes to that player now. West running forward. The handball wide to Murphy. Still West an option. And West is going to end up with it. He was there on his own. On. For about five minutes, Scott West. The journey here. Now they drop back. The handball comes to Gilby. Gilby's kick, not the equal of what came before. He sprayed it for behind. Important kick in, an important mark to Moody. Can he kick an important goal? He goes the important pass and it's cut off. Could have loaded up. Could have got the rush of blood. And 50 metre penalty. The bounce could really help. Johnson here, but Crediok, the experienced one, did brilliantly well. And the siren sounds to end what's been a very encouraging first half for the Western Bulldogs as they pursue their second win of the season. What happens? Bounce to start the second half. 
Not a great one. Uh, one and stolen by Darcy after Mooney was unable to control it. Boyd inside the forward 50. Wouldn't this be a great start? At the back, Brown. Off the deck, bound and left foot, goal. The Western Bulldogs on a mission. Up at the doggies here now is complacency. If they just start to not work as hard, he's roved the other man's uh, rough work there. That's absolutely what he did. Mooney was cool, clean with the tap, and well, Bowden was very good here. He's never going to miss. Well, you would think at the moment. A feral cat's a dangerous beast, Mitho. High inside the forward 50. You for know the what dogs. you do with them, you shoot them. Brown picks it up, kicks on goal. It's not going to get the desired result for him or his club. Watson, Graham, Maloney. Shrugs one tackle, throws it out towards Kingsley. Umpire saw the throw, free kick Even that, for the Dogs. I'll just take it back 30 seconds. That last handball that went to Kelly through the centre. The forwards led 15 metres by the time Kelly kicks. The forwards had led 15 further metres out of position. Murphy streaming down the centre of the ground, tries to get around Ling, does now. Harrison can load it up and kick a goal for the Western Bulldogs. the boundary line goes with a spearing pass and the dogs are running rings around the cats at the moment Harrison has it just outside 50 the leads come 66 plays 20 they still have free men garlic over the top to Johnson from the pocket goes with the drop go. part snap it goal go. they can do no wrong Johnson has four Back in the centre, and another clearance for the Dogs. G and Syracuse are inside 50, got Bowden. They're going to kick their brains in. They're not just going to hang on here, Bulldogs. They are going to maul the Cats. Should kick his third after starting on the bench. And number 12 for the Dogs, and he does. It's a celebration for Western Bulldogs fans. Let's have another look at the Brad Johnson goal. And in real time, <laughs> it is a great kick, isn't it? And Bowden, he's kicked three goals now. He's had five possessions. And they have gone to the dogs, the Cats, in more ways than one. Murphy, down the middle of the ground, and here they go again. Gian Syracuse, long kick, bandies free at half forward. Ball bounces on Carney for it is crunched by Enright. Got it to Gilby. Now to Garlic. 60 from goal. Held up. He'll wait for the lead from Brown. Brown. The lead comes. The pass goes. Brown gets it. Has the snap around the body. All too easy. But beautiful to watch. Look at the skill here. Under severe pressure from Matty Scarlett. And it's threaded the middle. Fox goals from the ball up. Ball knocked out of Spriggs. Bounces away from the midfield. Murphy could mark. Double of steps. Smith. They're all lining up. The Smith reloads. Goes high. Brown one on one with Scarlett. Off hands. Brown almost close to the line. And it's rolled across in rugby fashion. Lord 60 from goal. Inboard. Corey slips the pass inside. 50. That is a great mark. Taken by Matthew Robbins, dropping back with the flight. Goal to Cam Mooney, but here is that mark from Robbins, back with the flight. Give them doggy something to think about. They're prepared to risk Nathan Eagleton just coming on the ground for Gian Syracusa, and Rowan Smith just getting some work done on his hamstrings, tightened up. Briggs thought he did. Oh, I thought he needed to decapitate somebody down here, and they think it's around the waist. Don't worry about them. Ross finds Eagleton. You can see. The swabbing under his lip to the left-hand side. He was belted early in the game. Goes with the drop punt. Long ball inside the 50. Big fly from Gilby, who's been an impressive player today. That's a terrific one-grab mark. Eight touches already. Of the Cats, this mini resurgence. A good touch with his feet. Lindsay Gilby, seven goals for season 2003, and that's going to be his eighth. Good kick. Good answer from the Western Bulldogs. Count that as a kick. Got it to Lord. Tries to shrug the tackle. Successful. Cross though to Dimitina. Here go the dogs again. A couple of bounces. He might go all the way. Gives it to Eagleton. Says you are hurt early. Get yourself something for the pain.
I've got to say, I have never seen a bloke raise his arms <laughs> in the two-arm salute quicker <laughs> than, than this one. If we can watch it from this direction, he's got the arms up when the ball's only five metres off the boot and he's kicked from 52. You watch it on the end here. He knows he's struck this sweetly. James, it'll be like you putting wood on one and knowing that's going all the way to the... There you go. <laughs> it isn't even halfway. He knew that was all the way over the square leg fence. He did. He was <laughs> celebrating. Look at that. Early. Good early on call. He's just got a couple to beat here. And he's just not going to. Eagleton's got it. Left long football. Work that sentence out inside the 50. <laughs> it's going to come to the back and Johnson with nothing ahead of him can kick a goal. Misses. It wasn't difficult enough. <laughs> At the grass. And on the siren, that tells the story for the Cats. Nothing going right. And at three-quarter time, as they have so often this year, they've got a bit of soul-searching to do. Eagleton came on, and he gets a big hug from a couple of his teammates, and that is the spirit of the Dogs. The Western Bulldogs, can they close it out, or can the Cats mount something at home to really try and put a shiver up the Dogs' spine? West has been fantastic. Brad Johnson is hurt, big time in the square. Long ball forward, the fence. Straight off Brad Johnson, point of the shoulder, that's, that all day long will be an AC joint. So they've got some bench problems now. Well, but still a long way back. Mooney has been OK as he climbs high. Eagleton's been great after he was belted early in the match. Look at that for hard running. Now he can kick a goal, maybe Eagleton. Left foot, long shot, misses. Gee, it's a good hit, isn't it? Jen. Spring's got a hand on it. Eagleton, it would be appropriate. He would crunch early. He won't have the ball at the end. It's been a long, long time between drinks. For the Western Bulldogs, 16 weeks since their last win, which was also against the Cats. And their effort this afternoon rewarded by a three-goal victory. And look at the smiles on their faces. They will get to sing their song if they remember it. He is with, he's a proud father to, he is with Anthony Smith and Luke Darcy. Yeah, congratulations Luke on a couple of fronts. We'll talk about the footy first. Finally, you get to sing the song. It's great, mate. Uh, hopefully uh, the words are still fresh in the back of the mind there, but uh, a bit of relief. And uh, look, we almost tried to throw it away a bit there at the end, but uh, the signs have been there all year. Mitha. It's just been frustrating that we haven't got any results at all. So uh, just gives you a little bit of heart today to come away with the win. So it's great. Well, good, strong, committed football will do that for you. Last two weeks, you've been really strong at the footy and strong at the man with the footy. And uh, you get a result today and a, and a credible performance against the league leaders last week. Yeah, I think you want to be known uh, any time you step out in the field as a side that goes and has a crack and you know, lays some tackles and attacks the man. And, uh, you know, we've, we've been working on it all year. It has, it's been there in patches, but the last two weeks it's probably been there a bit more consistently, mate, so it's been good. And Darth, tell us a little bit about yesterday. How did it all unfold? Little Samuel David, I believe, into the world. Uh, mate, it's fantastic. It's, uh, it's pretty hard to put a sentence together, mate, that describes how good that is. Uh, hopefully Mum uh, is watching. Uh, Beck and uh, little Sam, mate, it's a, that's, that is the best thing ever. Don't worry about that. It was uh, an unbelievable uh, day, and the little fella's going well, so uh, I've had a great weekend, mate. Sensational. Enjoy a coldie down the highway and get to see your family. Absolutely. Good on you. Thanks, Darth. Thanks, Darth. Thanks, Darth.